me open up a tableau workbook and within this workbook i have this story created for you which will help you explain the different types of file types so tableau has uh, multiple types of file types are so somewhere around eight and each one has its own usage about in a particular scenario so today's in today's video uh, that's the objective of explaining you when to use which one so the first one is the tableau workbook and uh, this is basically uh, contains data visualization with the live data connection and you can share your workbook with users who have access to the data so as it is mentioned those users sometimes uh, they are like uh, fellow developers and have the access to the similar data sources or with the help of connection string etc and if you need to share your work with them you can use dot twb workbook when you are saving your workbook and share with them the next one is tableau packaged workbook dot twbx so this is basically useful or this this is basically a file to view the data and visualization either in tableau or tableau reader the benefit is that you have the data extracted in the workbook to use it offline so this is ideal for users who does not have access to the data but need the analysis the next file type is tableau data extract it contains the aggregated and filter data that can be used readily in another tableau workbook as well as when you don't want to hit the database again and want the data available offline to use in one or many workbooks this type of extension is really helpful and we will see in upcoming videos about how we can really use it the next file type is the tableau bookmark dot tbm it contains the connection to another workbook in tableau so that you don't have to create the similar visualization again and again and merge it only question is that uh, the the book uh, or this a mistake the workbook in the existing workbook and the new worksheet should have the same data and fields the next type is the tableau data source dot tds it contains information related to data source like location username password etc this is ideal for situations like uh, custom data set that you or your multiple team members use it regularly so think about a scenario that you are working on a solution and uh, based on the business requirement as it keep changing you are changing your data set and you want to you want other developers fellow developers to use the same data set with all these custom information then you can save it in the tableau data source.tds file extension the next one is the tableau data source extract it is similar to tds with an additional feature of having the data available offline so in case of the tds you need to have uh, uh, online or the uh, connection to the data set so that you can use it but in case of tableau data source the data will be available offline as it extracts the data from the data source but with all the customization done on the data set for example if your client or another team need massaged data which is basically some incremental analysis on your existing data this type of file will be very useful the next one is the tableau preferences it is helpful in creating your own personal themes or company themes which require only specific set of colors for banners and visualization etc this way you don't have to set the colors for each and every object again and again and that saves a lot of time when there are multiple you know colors or multiple conditions that you need to set according to your business requirements the next file type and the last file type is the tableau map source.tms and it is used to create custom maps as well as uh, by saving uh, the file with this extension you can share your work with colleagues uh, by sending the file and that will help them to avoid the rework you know doing the similar sort of work to create the similar kind of map so these are the eight different types of uh, uh, work the file types that you can have within the tableau and take advantage of that well that's pretty much all in this video and i'll meet you in the new video with a new topic